This is going to be a demonstration of capturing and decoding an RS232 signal from Tektronix MDO demo board down here onto the 3 Series MDO and I'll reposition the camera and put it onto the large monitor over here that gives a, a bit better capture of the screen that's going on. So to pick up the RS232 signal we just need the one probe that will get plugged into channel A there and then we'll connect up onto the MDO board. The RS232 signal is along this line of signals here. Got some of the other serial port signals, uh, Lin UART and the CAN signals there and the others are a fast edge signal to demo another aspect of the scope. So we just need to clip onto RS232 and then ground signal and then we can start doing the setup. The oscilloscope does have a built-in setup for the RS232 uh, down here. Uh, the RS232, so uh, that explains the signal a little bit and tells you that it triggers it on an ASCII character T to capture the data packets. And in the manual for the demo board, it actually says there is a text built into the data saying Tektronics enabling innovation. So we should be able to capture that. Um, I'm not going to do the demo setup. I'm going to cancel that off and I'll just show it being set up manually. So we only need the one channel. Get from channel two, just drag him away. And then the channel one will initially start off with him in the middle. You set the signal. So we'll take him up to the voltage per division there. We need to add in the bus. So off the drive here, we can select bus one to add in him. It defaults to the last setting that it was, which was USB. Obviously don't need that. So we'll set it to RS232. We know from the instruction manual that it is 9600 VPS and 8-bit with no parity, so they can all stay the same. So because we have selected RS232 up here, it's automatically put an RS232 label into here. And you can see that it started decoding and collecting data on there. So we'll just turn the horizontal up a little bit to capture a bit more data. And then we can zoom in, oops. And then we can create the zoom to open them out a little bit more. Now in order to capture this a bit better, I'm going to set the trigger, take him down to a bus. We want to trigger on data. And that data, if we double click into the ASCII, we'll select it as capital T. So that should find me the Tektronics. We need to enter into the search. So a quick way of getting into the search is to copy it straight from the trigger copy that, it's found three events for capital T, and we'll see if we can go find them. Okay, so it's not finding data at the moment, what I forgot to do was set this up as an ASCII, and then it will start to find the data for me. Zoom in a little bit more, and you can see here now, I start to pick up the Tektronics, so I'm moving the horizontal bit about, and you can see the first word that I've got there down at the bottom is in the Tektronics. If I go to the results table, open it up, and back on the bus, you can see uh, he's uh, moved a little bit. Let's uh, go down and we'll reposition the X axis again a little bit. And there you can see we found Tektronics. So we'll just get rid of the results table. And so we found the Tektronix one, let's bring him back. So if you wanted to find the next one, we could do is change the search so we know that's a capital E on the next one. And you can see where he's found him there. So he's found one over there. So we'll grab the scroll bar and bring him back. And you can see the arrow there matches up with there. So the arrow coming down here is finding my E 
And there's my en enabling along the line there. Back up to the results table again. And you can see it's not quite lined up again because we've everything shifts when you open this table up for some other reason. But we can wind him back and we can start to bring it into line. And there you can see the word enabling coming down there. So our last one to find is innovation word, which if we search for a capital I, uh, place him with the I, and, uh, and again he's found, whoop, doesn't help, does it? Found the I up there, so we'll drag our zoom window over, and we can bring in him. There's our eye coming down there, we follow him down. So there's the innovation one there. Go to our results table and scroll him back. And there you can see we've got the innovation coming down here. Yep. Um, there you have it, that's uh, decoding an RS232 signal on the 3 Series MDO and using the search function to find some data.